making words. Loud noises. The gun shoots with my mouth moving. We do this to make crispy visuals happy. This is raw audio and this is suppressed rounds. And this is also the raw audio. Rolling is what he said, so let's roll. How's it going, Jake? Let's roll, man. Welcome back. Let's yeah. hit the damn thing. Let's do that damn thing. Do the damn thing. What do we we're, got here today? So we're talking today. Um, this rifle has been on the channel multiple times. <laughs> it is the uh, PWS. It's a Mod 2. Um, but the PWS is really not the new suppressor from PWS. This guy right here. And it's pretty interesting. I saw that they yeah. came out with um, this, and I hit them up, and we'll, we'll kind of get into it. Real quick thing. So uh, our primary channel sponsor, Peace of Mind Guns. Uh, good luck. She's going to be tight. But Peace of Mind Guns um, is a PWS dealer. Um, oh, sweet. And uh, actually, I think we talked to him about this yesterday. We happened to see uh, Mason, the owner there at Bleed Show yesterday. I didn't know he was a PWS dealer. Um, yeah, he's a PWS oh, dealer, cool. right? So I told him, hey, I, I think this would probably be wise to add to the PWS roster since you carry the guns, the suppressor would seem to be kind of a no-brainer. So um, I believe, uh, I don't know if you'll have them right when the video comes out, but if you happen to watch this video and you're like, I like that, I would like to get that either for my whatever gun or my PWS, I would suggest go check over at Peace of Mind Guns and check it out. And that would be great. Thank you, everyone. Um, <laughs> So nice. So I don't know why I got weird, but I, yeah, you, you did get you just get weird. Sometimes. Awkwardly weird there. Yeah, you just get weird. Um, so um, that's that relationship with PWS. So I have a funny relationship with PWS. So I um, so originally I inquired. I was like, hey, I'd love to review one of your guys' gun, and they were nice enough to send out the gun. We did the review on it, and I basically never had any communication with them after that <laughs> and um and then they came out with a suppressor i saw them do like an ig post or something and i'm like hey i would love to do a review on that suppressor and they were nice enough to send the suppressor and i've never talked to them after that <laughs> <laughs> so okay so let's go into the overview of the can so you will notice on the name uh, on the box there and on the can so this is referred to as the bde suppressor any guesses what BDE would stand for, my friend? I mean, I know BDE is Big Dick Energy. I, and if that's what the name of this can is, that is fucking awesome. So BDE stands wait, for... Wait, 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 wait. I was trying to think of something clever. Go ahead, sorry. Bravo Delta Echo. So it's just the phonetic alphabet? So PWS, you want to play games. You want to play games? And we're going to say Bravo Delta Echo. And we're going to throw BDE <laughs> on our big black suppressor. <laughs> like, just, that's where we're going to take this? I honestly uh, appreciate the marketing. <laughs> okay. Okay. I want Props. one just because it says BDE Props. on the side. I, I, I salute you, you on know this. I, I think it's actually you quite... Know PWS? Gonna give it to you on this. Yep. I like it. I, I'm That's gonna, cool. I'm gonna sign off on your Bravo Delta Echo suppressor. Well done. Um, so this is their inaugural. Yeah, about six and a half. Yeah. I know. I, I was like doing the math. I was like, yeah. dude, it's yeah. about that. Yeah. 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 So um, it, it, you know, adequate. It's impressive. Yeah. I, well, not even adequate. That's, that's excellent, actually. Yeah. Um, so anyway, this is their inaugural uh, leap into the world of suppressors. I find it interesting because it's firearms company that said, hey, we're gonna make a suppressor. Okay, which, I'm interested. Which is awesome. Like, hey, good for you. We're trying to push, maybe get into a different market. Like mm -hmm. we might have some stuff to bring to the market that we think is substantial. And hey, yeah. Like I, I salute it. If I, it's done right, yeah. It, and if it's a piece of sh shit, then it's like you should have stayed making Stay guns. with guns, yeah. right? Um, but so here's my observation about how they decided to launch in the suppressor world, which is let's go. I'm going to give a couple of disclaimers here, right? But a bit of a jack of all trades approach, sure, right? A, a bit of master of uh, or. Uh, Jack of all trades, master of none thing, sure. right? Um, now the caveat would be, even though this is not a master of anything, it does have some shit it's really good at, okay? Yeah. And so, and we'll kind of get into it. And frankly, the footage is probably gonna start to indicate 
Oh, as it turns out, it's actually really good on 5.56. Yeah, um, I mean, for a 30 cal can, which this is, uh, that's why if you haven't yeah. picked up yet, like Master of All, meaning multi-cal can, mm -hmm. it's a 30 cal can. With hub so. adapters yeah. and, you know, and multiple baffles, and there's actually quite a few interesting things going on here yeah. that we'll, that we'll kind of get into. Um, so let's just do a little bit of a recap, because I, I, I'm going to just say, I'm going to roll with an assumption on this that not everyone that sees this video may truly kind of understand what suppressors are for. So as sure. a quick recap, right? There's a common misconception that you throw a suppressor on your gun and your gun is Hollywood quiet. Where there is, I mean, subsonic 22 suppressed, 300 blackout sub suppressed, where you go, uh, it's, it's getting there, uh, B&T VP9, you know, like, you know, there's stuff sure. where you go, yeah, it is very quiet. But generally speaking, your gun is simply going to be less loud. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's like, it's loud, it's just less loud. It's going to we'll take the bite out. Yeah, and we'll kind of talk about where this uh, sits on that scale. Um, but here's the deal. Uh, 5.56 five, is a tricky round to suppress. The reason for that, for those of you who, who may just not know this stuff, is because 5.56 five, is a round that relies on speed in order to be effective, right? So it breaks the sound barrier. Um, 5.56 five, is a rough rule of thumb. Don't hold me to this exact number, but it has to be going around 2,500 feet per second in order to tumble when it hits that intended target. So the point is, it's cooking. So no matter what can you put on a 5.56 five, six, five, six gun, you're going to be breaking the sound barrier. And that's where a lot of the sound is going to come from. Yep. Well, the reason 5.56 five, five, subs don't exist is because 5.56 five, five, would be pointless subsonic because it's not going to tumble and actually do what it's supposed to do inside of that target, right? So 5.56 five, five, subs, stupid, pointless. A lot of what you are trying to achieve on a 5.56 five, five, suppressed gun is signature reduction, right? Like, Which is what? Um, a combination of flash and auditory is sort of masking, you know, where did that come from, yep. right? And All around signature. Yeah, right? right, you know, signature reduction. The threat's ability to pinpoint where you are. Yeah. Now on a titanium can, which this is, you are going to get a bit of sparking, if mm -hmm. you will, um, even though it's it's pretty minimal on this. I think Buster and I actually shot this indoors. And indoors, you, you know, it's more apparent because you're yeah. indoors. Well, yeah. on the light, the way that it is, yeah. Exactly. Out here, I didn't, I didn't detect it, um, yeah. even though I'm sure it happens. I'm not detecting yeah. it out here. But... Um, there are some other things that are important with suppressor, or you know, you know, debatable in suppressors, whether that be you know reduced back pressure and you know sort of flow through stuff is popular right now and yeah. and yada yada yada. But um, not really going to get too much into that for this. But point being, hey, there are things that suppressors are meant to do other than just make it quiet for the shooter. It's yep. not even really the primary purpose. <laughs> it's actually number five on the list. Yeah, right. You know, it's like concussion for teammates. You know, reducing yep. that stuff. That's that's actually more important. So to actually kind of break down this can, so it is a 3D printed titanium can. Do you know what grade titanium? Uh, I do not. Uh, I, I had a, a couple of questions that I was trying to get uh, oh. answered, and I, I you know, uh, you know, failed to get a couple of uh, answers. So I don't know a couple of things that I wanted to know. One That's of the okay. things I wanted to know was, hey, was this really purpose built around the PWS system? Because for those of you that, that may not know, PWS, this gun here is actually a long stroke piston system. So it's truly probably the closest thing we've got to like a AR AK hybrid, right? It, Manual of arms is just like a AR. Um, operating system is closer to an AK, right? So it is quite interesting. So it's I like wanted a, to know if this was built for that. I just don't happen to know the answer. It's like if the AR and the AK had a baby? A bit. PWS. Yeah, a bit, yeah. Which I think is a good thing. I think it's good too. But 3D printed titanium. So it is gonna be a very, very lightweight can. Um, it is a 30 cal suppressor, meaning, hey, you could run this on a 308 bolt gun. You could run it on 556. You could run it on a lot of different stuff, right? As long as it's got a 30, as long as it's within 30 cal, you'll be good to go. Titanium, of course, is a trade-off advantage, very lightweight, okay? In the current configuration, which this is set up with a dead air Xeno mount, okay? It's gonna be a little more lightweight than their chemo. Um, this is coming in at 13.7 ounces. This is in the short mode, okay? So this is as short as you're gonna run this can with that mount, 13.7 ounces. Um, so you get the advantage of weight savings, you get the disadvantage, like we mentioned, of some sparking, um, and maybe just long-term durability. Yeah. Hey, it's not gonna be as much of a tank as Inconel or something like that, but hey, again, that's the trade-off. Like, that is that is the whole point. It's, that's life, trade-offs. It is full auto rated. Cool. Okay, so that's good. This is not meant to be like a delicate, you know, like, hey, you know, only one round for, you know, yeah. 30 seconds or whatever. It's like, nope, full auto rated, no barrel restrictions. So, hey, it is a tough can. Like, it is rated to actually be a tough can. 
I have not held back whatsoever on the firing schedule of this, just sent it as we felt appropriate and it's fine. It gets hot because that's what suppressors do. Suppressors get hot, but um, no actual issues. It's a modular design. And this is when we start talking about kind of the jack of all trades notion. So we'll kind of do like a little bottom to top tour here. It's gonna come with a direct thread insert, okay? This is a uh, 5 eighths by 24, okay? So if you're gonna run 556 five, mount or direct thread insert, cool, factor that in, right? But I do think that 1100 bucks is a, is, a, is, is a price that I'm frankly very comfortable with. Street price will probably be a tad less than that, I would imagine. Yeah. Um, but just a couple observations. So the PWS can on the PWS gun, obviously kind of a match made in heaven. They go very well together. Um, this gun lends itself very well to being suppressed. What I found interesting is that I'm actually running this on gas setting number three which is the least gas. And that actually surprised me because yeah. I didn't have that before. Yeah. Um, and here's why I did that. I'm a lefty for those of you that don't know. So I typically get a lot of gas that's blowing back in my face. So it's a lot easier for me to get gassed out. So I started on setting one and I'm like, look, real snappy recoil, a lot of gas coming back at me. Uh, that was indoors granted. So I knocked it down to two and I'm like, still a little snappy and still a little gassy and like it's definitely you know it's getting worked pretty hard yeah and then so i shifted over to three look i get bolt lock back every time like it, it, everything is mechanically functioning properly cool and it's softer recoil it's less gas i'm leaving it on setting three gun is fun to shoot that in that configuration yeah and that's I mean, a long stroke a piston where it's like dude yeah. you got a lot of mass that's moving and the fact that that's as chill as it is yeah. on a long stroke piston is is quite impressive on top of being suppressed so yeah, exactly. I agree with you. Um, so definitely if you're a PWS owner, to me, the, the, the can is, is, is kind of a no brainer at that point. Um, I do think it could obviously do very well in other guns too. Uh, I will tell you just a couple of quick cons, none of them significant. Um, they have these tools that come with it, these wrenches. Yeah, it's in there. Yeah. So you get two of them. Yours had a little He's seen better days. Where's the parts? It's there it is. So you get two of these wrenches, um, and you'll notice uh, both of my wrenches broke <laughs> w w like very easily. So the tools suck. Um, now the reason they send two is so you can do opposite direction. And I was actually doing it properly. Off. No, I know. I'm yeah. just saying in case yeah. was I getting ahead of you. I'm sorry. No, yeah. oh, no, okay. you're not. Yeah. Um, but it was like I broke one, and then my buddy John came over, and he he's a real man, like he knows what he's doing. And, uh, like and he broke the second one. Yeah. Um, so it's like, you know, these are just flimsy tools. You're probably going to need something else there. Yeah. And then the direct thread insert, it comes with the direct thread insert in it. And that was so tight in it that I had to actually take it to Alex over at Trajectory Arms to help me get this off. Because I was like, dude, we, we could not budge this fucking thing off. Like it was simply on and it was not going to come off. We got to get you a tool kit, buddy. Well, you we'll know, work on it. I got a, I got a couple screwdrivers, uh, Phillips flathead, uh, hammer. I got a pack a nail somewhere at the house <laughs> um cool so it's you know we're, we're getting there this is a cool little can man it's cool a couple of the other pros one i think it's very nice looking can yeah aesthetically i mean it aesthetically is a good looking can. great looking can yeah i don't know one of the questions i had for pws is like hey this wave pattern is that a functional thing or is it because it looks cool i don't well, know one well, do you notice the difference in the patterns um yeah there is isn't there yeah so this is 3d printed these are cnc turned Oh, yeah. Okay. So 3D printed, CNC turned. Okay. So, yeah. Cool. But the main cool, cool. K configuration is all going to be 3D printed stuff. If yeah. you want to make it a little longer and quieter, there you go. Yep. Yep. Dope. Um, so, and, and I would also say a pro is I think because it is very versatile and you could run this in a lot of different configurations on a lot of different rifles, it's probably a really good entry point for a lot of people who are going, hey, look, I'm new to suppressors. Sure. Let's say maybe I'm not going to get 10 suppressors and one for every gun. Where should I start? You go, hey, look. This is a valid sure. contender because yeah. it can accomplish a lot for you. You can bolt gun it, you can AR-10 it, and AR-15 it. You can do a lot of different shit. And you just get the muzzle devices that work and switch. Yeah, and you're good to, you're good to go at that point, yep, right? So um, so that's about it. I, I, I do think it's a winner. I think they did a very good job. I, I will admit when they first announced it, I was like, well, this could go one of two ways. Like, you know, they're a gun company getting in the suppressor world. Like, this could be a train wreck, yeah. which is why I was curious. And I'm very happy to see that it's not. And hey, the Bravo Delta Echo, good job. Yeah. Good and job. as someone that, you know, maybe would struggle to be unbiased on a suppressor since I work for a suppressor company, I'm actually like super impressed with this can. 
Well, and, and one thing we didn't even touch on, maybe we will yeah. briefly, is like, I mean, it really sounds nice. It sounds very, very good. So behind the gun with no ears, it sounded like a staple gun was next to me. Or uh, if you've ever worked a construction site, which you haven't, uh, the air pneumatic air uh, nail, nail guns. Nail guns, yeah. <laughs> lethal weapon. Very. Yeah. Lethal weapon. What? They use it as a. And lethal weapon. They is use... that a porn or what is that? No, lethal weapon. Have you never seen no, lethal weapon? I wanted to get a rise out of him. <laughs> Fury. I'm walking off set right now. Yeah. Um, no, but yeah, lethal weapon. I I know the sound from working a job. Yeah, I know it from movies. Yeah. Um, but I mean, it sounds great. I mean, with your ears off, I mean, even a few feet off that gun, it's like, damn it's impressive. Son. Yeah, they did a good job. Damn I'm son. impressed with that gun, this setup. You know, the whole system works real well. Yeah. Guys, last quick thank you, uh, Firearms Legal Protection, for sponsoring the video today. Yeah. They've got cool insurance programs for dudes like you that either carry guns or have guns in your home defense or vehicles, or if, uh, you know, maybe you're not even a gun guy, but you're a knife guy or you're throwing stars, whatever. It's sure. any legal weapon, and it's in a legally justified self-defense self scenario. Uh, then yeah. You're you covered. You're if you go. conceal carry a pistol every day, you should probably have insurance. I drive my vehicle every day because I have insurance. And you got that car insurance. Yep. So um, so check that out, guys. We've got a link to it below. The code's 1911. It saves you a good chunk of cash off yep. your service. And it's actually pretty damn cost effective, um, especially if you don't travel much. They got one that's just for your state that winds up being like 10 bucks a month. Yeah. So um, anyway, check that out. We'll go ahead and end the video. But thanks, guys. See you soon. Yep. Thanks, guys.